What is the most exciting area of cancer research today, in your opinion? Of course, cancer genetics, because you can identify targets and you can make drugs against those targets and uh, the malignancy goes away. The most exciting areas of cancer science for me, as a research scientist, is the ability of making breakthrough discoveries in our lab and then reaching over and beginning to work with clinicians and actually running clinical trials. So I can translate my science into real new types of treatments and potentially cures. So there's a real human side and the humanity and the kind of work we do is actually getting to interact with the patient and making a difference in actual treatments. Well, obviously uh, immunotherapy has made a lot of major discoveries and uh, there's a subset of patients, for example, with melanoma that are getting long-term cures. So that's got to be one of the most exciting uh, findings in a long time, using the checkpoint inhibitors and really turning the immune system back on to fight the cancer cells directly. For me, it's uh, looking at the cells that are making the cancer, the stem cells or the tumor-initiating cells, and uh, looking at how they're responding to the ever-changing microenvironment. Well, I think as most people would say, immunotherapy is clearly right at the, the top. But uh, we think that tumor microenvironments and the interaction between the tumor cells and the surrounding normal cells is just as important, and that's what I'm working on myself. Well, all of the excitement about the human genome, um, the human genome being both the germline or inherited uh, genetic studies, as well as those that look at, for the genetic changes in the tumors. Um, and I think that there's a real opportunity to make strides in terms of reducing the burden of cancer by doing more of the genotyping at the germline or inherited level. I'll tell you what really excites me is preventing cancer or intercepting the disease before it ever occurs. You know, we've spent so much time, we've made a lot of progress in treating cancer, but I never had a patient come and say to me, you know, Dr. Haidt, I'm so happy that I have cancer so you can treat me. They always want to know, how could I get this disease? How could I have prevented it? 